Welcome to Albany in the Bahamas and welcome on board Bodacious, a charter yacht. In fact, this video is being made to be able to show you what kind of a charter yacht she really is. We left Albany Marina this morning. I have to tell you, it's a beautiful spot. If you've never been there and you get the opportunity, I'd highly recommend that you go there. But we've left to be able to show you the yacht underway, out to anchor and to have a look around. First, I'm going to show you the interiors, then the decks, and then we're going to take a look at the water toys. I'll actually put timestamps on the video so that you can find all of those areas and go straight to them if there's one thing that interests you more than perhaps the others. But let's start by taking a look around the inside. So what is it really that you'll be looking at when you're considering which yacht to charter? Well, certainly you need to feel comfortable on board with the decor. If you're going to be a week or two weeks on a yacht, you need to feel that you have enough space and you feel comfortable in your environment. And personally, I find this very comfortable indeed. I wanted this to be filmed with me in the picture so that you can actually see the size of this sofa. It's huge. Bodacious can accommodate 10 guests, and even though I wouldn't suggest that you necessarily want to do this, you could get all 10 people easily sitting around here having a chat or watching the television, which is located just over here. This is a television that lifts and lowers. You have visibility from all around there. And I do occasionally get comments from people who are saying, who wants to watch the television on a yacht when you're on vacation? Well, many people do. If you're a Formula One fan, if you're enjoying watching live football, soccer for people in the United States, or I don't know, Paul Logan fighting Floyd Merriweather, it's good to have a television on board that you can enjoy watching along with your friends uh, when, the, when the mood takes you. Moving forward, we have this great feature, great, not just because it lets lots of light into the area, but also because it opens up to let fresh air in to allow you out to enjoy that fold down balcony, look around your surroundings, have a glass of wine in the fresh air. It was very smart and very brave, actually, I think of the designer not to put this on both sides of the yacht, which some manufacturers do do. I say brave because whilst that would have a lot of wow factor when you walk into this area, it has some practicality drawbacks. By not having that big expansive, expansive window over there, you could make the seating area so much bigger. You can get this unit here which houses essential things such as the air conditioning and then carries on with more storage along here. You have your dining area or inside dining area. It's true that these don't get used as much as the outside dining areas, but I think it's good to have a place to sit and have a chat, a cup of coffee every so often, maybe get your laptop out if you need to do some, um, some emails or, or keeping contact with people, which many owners want to do. And talking of owners, let's take a look at the owner's stateroom, which we do by walking past the day head. I was impressed actually with the design of this yacht, even in this lobby area, which is really just a functional area to get you to the owner's stateroom. They've still made it very elegant, very beautifully designed. And also very elegant and very beautifully designed and quite unusual is the owner's bathroom. Now it's not always opened up. There are sliding doors that close here, but you have this gorgeous design sink as well as the head itself and a really big shower there as well. Just a beautiful way to wake up in the morning, go in there, have a shower and start the day. Not surprisingly, the owner's stateroom itself is magnificent. So it's spacious, it's light, it's airy. These windows all the way around allow you to wake up to the most wonderful view uh, if you want to, or you can completely close them down with blinds if you prefer to sleep in the complete dark, as many people do. You have an area 
to do your makeup in the morning or to just sit with your laptop. And even though when I first walked in here, for a moment I thought there was no space for the wardrobe, I was completely wrong because there's a whole walk-in closet there. Uh, for many people, when they plan their, their charter, they look forward to eating in certain places. Some of the places they want to eat are more formal and it's good to get dressed up for that. So many people will have a selection of clothes and you can never get too much wardrobe space. And of course, if you've never been on a charter, I can tell you that uh, the moment that you arrive, the crew will take your luggage from you. They'll walk all the way down that corridor, put your luggage in there and even pack it in the wardrobes if you prefer them to, while you sit out there with a, a hot towel and a glass of champagne or Prosecco, depending on whether you're Italian or French. And on the subject of champagne or Prosecco, as we walk into the galley, the first thing you see here is a temperature controlled wine fridge. The last time I said temperature controlled wine fridge on a video, I got a lot of people making comments thinking that was quite amusing. But actually, just to show you, you can actually change the temperature on these fridges. Also, when you do charter a yacht, uh, such as Bodacious, uh, you're invited to write out a preference list. So you can already tell the crew and the chef of your preference of what you're going to eat, what you prefer to drink, the wines and the beverages that you prefer. So that wine fridge will be well stocked up with exactly the kind of wines that you really like, kept at the optimal temperature that they were need to be kept at. That's something you can enjoy with your guests. So let's take a look at where the guests will be sleeping. And to do that, we come back from the galley, through the dining area, past the day head, and down these steps here. And this is a, a simple, functional, elegant layout. Four staterooms, all with double beds, all very elegant with televisions, a little storage area here, wardrobe space, and these lovely big windows here. And once again, I'd remind you that depending on how you sleep best is how you can set this up. Some people prefer just to have a little filtered light like that. There's a blind that pulls down here. If you really need total darkness to sleep in, that's very easy to do. So this cabin is very, very similar to the one on the starboard side through there. And then you have two more staterooms again, which are identical staterooms here aft. The biggest difference here being that again, you have that owner's suite style uh, bathroom, which you can completely close off here. Again, with this beautiful Italian marble. And again, with a really large shower that you can enjoy. This time though as well, uh, with this seat here, so that you can sit if you want to download your photographs. In fact, I have to say that, um, while we film these videos, uh, the guy that does most of the work is behind the camera. In fact, I'm gonna very quickly take his picture so that you can see him doing that. Smile for the camera, Max. And so while Max is uh, taking footage of all the various areas on board, scrambling onto the tender, operating the drone, um, for me, if I have good Wi-Fi, it's such a helpful thing because I can get on and do work and, and make plans and schedules and write scripts and do my social media. And on Bodacious, the Wi Fi has just been fantastic today. It's been like a day in the office that I've been able to work continually while Max was taking some great footage of the yacht as well. So uh, leave a big thumbs up for Max in the comments below. Now let's take a look at the bridge. So this is not necessarily an area of the yacht that charter guests always visit, but I'd recommend that they do, especially if you've got small children. They'll love sitting up here and watching the yacht underway, chatting to the captain. It's always good to have a few chats with the captain too. He can tell you of areas that maybe you haven't thought of going and give you the benefit of experience. We'll be talking a little bit about the crew later, but I know that a lot of you do like to see the navigational equipment and Bodacious has everything that you need all of the navigation equipments here, bow thruster, stern thruster, but importantly as well, it's good to know that this has fin stabilizers. Fin stabilizers are appendages 
under the arteries that keep it stable underway, but in this case, they also move to keep you stable at anchor. I've said this many times before, but it's good to repeat that there are no stabilizers that can completely stop movement at sea. The sea moves and the yacht will move with it. But what they do is reduce roll significantly, which can make a difference between you really enjoying your vacation aboard or maybe not enjoying it so much. That said, let's take a look at the deck space. The design feature that San Lorenzo does so well is this part of the aft deck. That big black expanse there hides obviously the door through to the main lounge. That door goes to the engine room. But this almost hidden door goes to the flybridge. Let's take a look. So to remind you, this is a San Lorenzo 106. That means it's about 106 feet long. And look at the size of the flybridge. This is what San Lorenzo do so well. They know what yacht owners want and they do want to be able to enjoy a nice living area on the flybridge. Now that includes here forwards. Obviously that area is more for the captain. as He'll be driving for, uh, most of the time from that position. But also you've got this lovely seating area here, which is quite elevated. So you can really see where you're going. Again, chat to the captain. The captain can access this area directly from the bridge. We have this huge table, easily big enough for 10 people. So every one of your guests can sit around the table and enjoy dinners together in the open air in the evening. There's a great music system on board as well, so they can enjoy listening to music and eating whatever the chef's prepared for them, which I would suggest they'll probably do more often than go to the restaurant. You have this great unit here, which is just perfect for the stewardess to be able to prep all of the food for easy service. Ice maker, fridge behind here, storage uh, in this unit. And then this lovely deep jacuzzi tub. Again, if you have children, they'll love splashing around in the jacuzzi while you and your guests can sit around in this area, sipping cocktails and enjoying them uh, in the company of your family. I can hardly think of anything better. It doesn't quite end here though. There's more deck space in the aft deck. Of course, there's no reason that you couldn't have a meal together here as well. It's just easier for service on the flybridge. And this typically is an area that people enjoy snacks. Such a lovely area to sit when you're underway, actually. You can sit here chatting with your friends and just look behind you and see the wake of the yacht. There's something very magical, very special about being able to do that. It's very much a part of the experience of being on a yacht, of the experience of chartering a yacht. Actually, um, both Max and myself earlier were standing here looking at the water when the sun reached its peak, the color of the water was absolutely splendid. And I can well imagine standing here with friends, having a chat, just appreciating the colors of the Bahamas. Moving forward, there's another area too, and there's a particular comment I want to make about this area. So here too, you have a small seating area with a table. And this reminded me that in a very recent video that I made of a yacht that had a huge expansive bow with some payout pads and tables and chairs. I made the comment that some yacht designers will put a chair here almost as an afterthought. And then I saw this and it brought to my attention the fact that of course, the reason that we have a relatively small area here is that the superstructure of the yacht comes right forward, right up to the bow. And it does that so that you can have that master stateroom. So basically it's a trade-off. Either you have lots of some pads here, but no master stateroom on the main deck, 
or you have a nice big master stateroom and a relatively small area here. The choice is really yours, but of course, if you have that extra cabin, you can bring more friends to be with you as well and also benefit from the beautiful views of your surroundings when you wake up in the morning. This area too is not without its uses. It's very good to have a little area of privacy. I was on a yacht quite recently and the owner was on board and there was some of us talking and drinking on the after deck and there was a few people on the flybridge and he wanted to call his daughter. Uh, so he actually walked up to the equivalent of this area here and really enjoyed the views around him while he chatted to his daughter on the phone for 30 minutes in complete privacy. So this is not to be underestimated by any stretch of the imagination. Now though, let's look at the part that I think many, many people enjoy watching, and that's the water toys. One of the most significant toys to mention is the 32-foot Intrepid tender with two 300-horsepower engines and equipped for fishing. You can have a lot of fun with this. Now, unfortunately, the weather on the day of filming prevented us from showing the two Sea-Doo wave runners, two sea bobs, paddle boards, and an inflatable island. We hope to return another day to showcase these. As I mentioned earlier, Bodacious is available for charter and not for the first time I find myself thinking this must be an amazing yacht to be able to charter. It's got everything that you could ever need. It's got the speed to be able to get to the various islands that you might want to visit. It's the kind of size that you can get into all of the marinas. It's got the water toys that you really need to be able to enjoy. It's got a lovely master stateroom. It's got all of the equipment that you need. If it entices you, you can do no better than contacting us at the email address shown on screen there.